Hello, welcome back. Here's a really old one for you. Wolf Snipe versus Clapses, or Clasps. I'm going to say Clapses because I always have done. And I certainly would have when this demo was made in January of 2020. I have had this on my hard drive since about then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually, I said. And uh, now it's eventually. So let's go. We're getting into it. We've got Wolf Snipes POV. Thank you to Wolf Snipes for sending me a bunch of demos. I, the one I did yesterday, then immediately received on Discord a DM with a few more demos. That was absolutely fantastic. But we are on Fayuse. Uh, one of my favourite maps. We have broken light maps. I've still not been able to fix them. Uh, it's been a while. Probably should work it out at some point. Um, if anybody knows where they're broken and what commands I should put in, please help. But, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, here we go. Clasps has managed to pick up the first frag. But Wolf Snipe going to be playing a tactical game as he always does. This map won with no mega armor, no 100 armor, only 250s, which are heavily contested does mean that frags are a little easier to come by. You have to be a bit more careful with your health. But... Clasp's definitely spotted. Wolf Snipe in there. Going to know where he is. So Wolf Snipe's going to move out. Make sure that he's not going to be spotted. Clasp doesn't seem to have the, um, the grasp on the mega timing at the minute. Wolf Snipe playing a really cautious game at the back here. It's interesting to go back so far uh, because I have cast stuff from two years after this demo was created of Wolf Snipes and also Clasps. But yeah, I thought I'd, thought I'd start off with some really old stuff from ages ago. Nice little bit of faking there with the blaster. I like, you can hear that. I mean, it, it doesn't go sir, because most people don't play with these sounds. Tommy's sound pack, incredible. Um, but, yeah, the the faking with the blaster, making, you know, it's in that room. Klaus is going to know what room that is, going to hear that sound, going to go, okay, that's that room. And then, uh, Klaus is going to going to set up on um, on Wolf Snipe. Ready for it. But if Wolf Snipe hasn't actually left the room, well, he's managed to fake him. There's some great spam points. This, this map's very wide open while also being very contained. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say, but it is. Uh... And that's not just like every room can be really wide open. If you get two people in the same room, it's really wide open. But every entrance to each room is very, very closed off. Wolf Snipe now has picked up a few more frags since I last kind of looked at the scoreboard. Um, and Clasps is trying to fight back. Needs to get a grasp on this mega health. Getting up there, but I'm not sure when it spawns. Uh, we've not got a spectator demo on this one, so I will have to try and remember to keep a track on the item timings. The game just doesn't record those things, because otherwise you'd be able to enable them with uh, custom settings. So the server just doesn't send you the item timings unless you're in spectator mode. Very nice frag there from Wolf Snipe. Despite losing the first frag, he was immediately able to cap back to... Uh, Back to holding a position and consistently just take control of armor. Although sitting at very low health, he's got to be really careful. You see, he's just waiting around. Health going to re come up. Going to take that armor. Doesn't quite get out. Probably for the best that he went out the bottom there. Clasps. Don't think he was intentional to go out the bottom there, but hitting the head. Uh, forcing out the bottom and keeping him safe. Nice waiting. Now knows where Clasps is. Here's a hop come from somewhere else. The one thing that this sound pack does give you is you can hear where people are moving a lot easier than just with footsteps. 
unfortunately you can't tell what they're moving on uh, it's not like you can hear the difference between metal and stone and other surfaces like you can but it's a lot easier to hear it in the first place class somehow on oh no that's fps not ping i thought class was somehow on uh, 200 ping there but nope It is quite fast for the eye to keep up with this game. You have to sort of know where you're going and know where to look next. Especially with the way Wolf Snipe plays. It is a very jerky play style. Um, the demos are recorded at perfect FPS. They're playing back at 250 or whatever FPS loss I slightly have. But certainly consistently above the 30 FPS of my recording. Wolf Snipe. I, I didn't notice these kills. I'm definitely rusty at this whole commentary thing because I have not noticed any of the frags that uh, Class has managed to pick up. I assume that they came through in quite quick succession. Wolf Snipe now is is a bit on the uh, on the low side. Going to be waiting around. Beautiful patience there. Didn't fire as soon as he saw Clasps. Just waited until Clasps was. Uh, was through definitely into the room because if he wasn't into the room Wolf's Knight wouldn't have had an exit so Wolfie definitely making the best play doesn't have a track on that time doesn't have any vortex ammo find some vortex ammo now armor comes up just after he turned up Klaus is now looking finds the other armor Shooting rockets, both of them at each other. Claff's going up. Is the Mega up? Mega is not up at the minute. Wolf Snipe going down. That ties the game up. Six and a half minutes into the game. Claff's is finally back in the lead after right at the start playing an incredible game of catch-up. Wolf Snipe has to, has to try and play carefully to not lose frags while Claff's, I think, managed to pick up the Mega. Um, but now needs to play a bit more carefully beautiful air shot there from wolf snipe just playing so carefully just waiting around here beautiful shot waiting for uh, waiting for clasps to enter the crosshair then taking the shot now trying to get out of the room but doesn't quite get high enough with the blaster gonna be going getting down now Klaff's two frags up. Wolf Snipe, you can really tell he's on the back foot when he's using this uh, this Electro. Beautiful shooting going around here. Fight right in the centre. It's my favourite room to watch a fight in, that centre room. and On the floor in the centre room. You get to see a lot of vertical play. Something Xenotic is a fantastic game for vertical play because of the blaster um, allowing that sort of movement, but also because of our double jumps and our step-ups. You can blaster and kind of just almost nearly get to somewhere and manage to get up. Beautiful there from Klaus, managing to cut off Wolf Snipe at the source. Wolf Snipe does pick up the Vortex, doesn't do too much damage with it, gets a beautiful air frag. Clasps. Can only comment that it was a nice one. Now Wolf Snipe trying to spam into Klaus. And Klaus manages to put a beautiful bit of Electro in there. Stopping Wolf Snipe going anywhere. Wolf Snipe's so low. Klaus can probably take him out. But I can't imagine Klaus has got that much health looking at him right now. And there he goes down. Just to about probably 40 health when I said I didn't know how much health he got. 7 all with just over a minute remaining. Wolf Snipe manages to take the triple. Makes it 8-7. to seven. Claps. He's going to be struggling. He needs to get in, but he also needs to keep Wolf Snipe from taking too much stack. Wolf Snipe grabs that mega. Claps is going to know it. There's only one more mega to come. If Wolf Snipe manages to get this frag, it is going to be over, I think. There's no way that uh, Wolf Snipe would give up two frags. It's such short succession right at the end of the game. This map, not easy to spawn frag on. Wolf Snipe now playing safely. 
I think this is a mistake. I think Wolf Snipe actually needs to go in and be aggressive. Or Well, now, certainly. Class has to. Class only has one thing to do, and that's the perfect thing to do to push. Wolf Snipe should have pushed earlier, but now he doesn't have the chance. Claps has picked up that Mega. Has the advantage. Wolf Snipe has no weapons. Wolf Snipe's got a move. He's trying to push it into overtime. Wolf Snipe wants them overtime. Overtime in this game is two minutes of overtime. So, Wolf Knight wants to push this for 10 seconds. If he can not die for 10 seconds, he can push this into overtime. And that is the perfect play in that situation. Watch him now. He's making sure that Class doesn't get too much gain. And there it is. We are into an overtime. Perfect play from Wolf Knight. But I do think it was a mistake not being aggressive and not trying to make that lead three frags. But now... The game kind of resets. Klaus does have an advantage. He has the weapons. He has the armor. He has the timing on Mega. Wolf Snipe could have the timing on Mega as well. He did see it get taken. But in that heat of the moment, I don't think Wolf Snipe would have been noting down the time. Whereas Klaus, he very much may would have. You know, he would have known that he was going into overtime. And potentially Klaus actually would have been the one to say, screw it, let's take an overtime. You know, I'll take an overtime. Because I'll go into the overtime with stack. And now Wolf Snipe is massively on the back foot. Both these players are incredible tacticians. Even sometimes when they don't know that they're being incredible tacticians. They'll be making plays that when you look at them. they it, It's just that natural instinct. Oh, down to one minute remaining. Wolf Snipe spamming through the corners. He knows where Claps is. I mean, that's the thing. These players both know where each other are at all times. Beautiful shot there from Claps. Connects with a very good rocket. Wolf Snipe just eating up these four little bits of health and bits of armor. That's what's keeping him alive at the minute. He's not really taken any of the big ones for a little while. Claps must have a lot of stack. I wouldn't be surprised. 30 seconds remaining. If Clasps decides now is the time to push Wolf Snipe and try to get that last second frag, it would have been smart to not push at the two minute because if you push at the two minute uh, right at the start of the overtime, there's a while left to go. But we may be going into double overtime as Wolf Snipe doesn't want to push in because he knows that Clasps had better uh, better protection. If Clasps can connect a rocket right now. Just by pure luck, we will go into second overtime. There we are. And the game slows down again. You can see this. It comes to the pinnacle, to the pinnacle, to the pinnacle. And then the game slows down again. Incredible. Oh, I gutted I didn't commentate this soon. This is such a good game. It's so difficult playing overtime as well, though, um, sometimes when you're... Oh, we finally have a frag after about three or four minutes uh, of no frag action. Just safe play. Wolf Snipe manages to pick one up. Yeah, it can be so difficult to play overtime sometimes because you're having to push, 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 push. And then the overtime resets and you've got two minutes and you're thinking, let's just calm down. Now I've got to calm down. Now I've got to re... Restack, don't give away like five frags in the first second of overtime, you know, because you you dumb rushed because you're still in that overly cocky mode from previous. And some people just aren't very good at playing overtimes. Wolf Snipe is one of those players who really is. I am terrible at playing overtimes. I, I forfeit half the time when I get overtimes. There's the GG from Clasps. 11 to 8 the final scoreline probably. We might get a few more frags going in there. There's a good chance that they'll just play to bum around, you know. But Klaus submitting defeat after such a good game. He pushed back so hard. But that consistent overtime, overtime changing from high energy. And yeah, once he messed that, I guess I didn't really see the mega jump be messed up. But it, it is where the first frag came in. And I guess it must have been ever so slightly uh, ever so slightly off and then lose the mega. Lose the frag lead. And where are you going from there? Beautiful game. Thank you, Wolf Snipe, for sending all the damage that you always do. Class, incredible play. Such a good game. Thank you very much for watching. Holy shit. See you next time.